Hey, I'm Mike from PumaPlow.com, and I like to color things. So this time, it is a like a caterpillar glowworm type thing. It's not really a butterfly, but whatever. And there's a cat now. Yay! Hi, kitten. So quit hitting the microphone. <laughs> so this time we're going to color butterfly, so uh, join me as I go back to the crayons. Okay, so the, the subtitle on this one is I Love to Fly. I don't know if this, this is a caterpillar or a glowworm. Reminds me of a glowworm from like the little children's toy that a bunch of the kids have when they're younger, you know. But um, I don't want to color him green because that's boring. So he's going to be he's going to be like a rainbow kind of. So we might as well start with an obnoxious red. We'll start with um, scarlet. Hello, kitten. There's a cat in this one too, by the way. Except if he goes for the light, then he's, we're going to have trouble. Okay, so we'll do the top ring of his body. Ooh, this is a good color, dude. I might have to use Scarlet more often. I'm really liking this one. Okay. It's almost like the reddish orange I used on the zebra, but not quite. Well, there goes the cat. Hmm. Okay. Once again, if you want to color along with me, Check out the link below. The description below will have a link to a PDF file that we scan so you can download it, print it out, color along with me. Okay, I think we'll do two of two of his in Scarlet. Even though I just said we weren't, but whatever. And then the, his last one has to be like a yellowy color because at least on all the glowworm type things I know, the their tail lights up, right? So not, if it doesn't have the back of like a yellow, that would just be weird. Okay, that's enough scarlet for now. So we'll break out. <laughs> Kitten, go on, buddy. Oh no. Go on, come on. Go on. Go on. There we go. So we'll make his tail the brightest yellow I see in my crayon box here, which is uh, yellow. Obviously. This will show up okay. It should show up pretty good. Everybody say hi to Vladimir in the comments too, because he's watching. Okay. So there's his tail that glows. The middle section, we're gonna go with. Um, how about a brownie color? How about uh, this one? Oh, oh, it's almost like Bob Ross is here. It's burnt Sierra. Yeah. Uh huh. Almost like his, uh, isn't it burnt ochre or something? So. But obviously any brown will do, because it really just looks like brown to me. So, okay. And his wings, let's we'll figure those out. I'm a big fan of orange, as everyone I'm sure is aware. So... Now he looks like he's like an earthworm kind of. Let's do let's do this. Let's do the inserts of his wings in the brown. So what happened with this guy when he was a little uh, caterpillar? He fell into a paint factory. See, and that's why he has so many colors on him. He's just never outgrown it. Poor little guy. Story time with Mike. Okay. Then we'll need something that really contrasts with his body for the wing color. I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm thinking purple. But this time we'll go with a little bit lighter purple. We'll go with Orchid. I like Orchid. Oh, yeah. I really should leave my crayons out that I'm using because now I want to go back to one of the colors and I'll have to go find it again. So I have to start doing that. You can't have too many random colors because that would just be weird. This isn't like fantasy world or anything. Jeez. Okay. This 
guy's quite a creation. You know what I realized, by the way? Coloring's like hard on my hand. Must be getting old. Let's go take a break. We have an intermission in the coloring. Okay, there's that one. This other wing is way bigger. Must be perspective. Okay. Oh no, I went outside the line. Whoops. Poor little uh, glowworm's never going to be able to fly with a bad wing like that now. We'll use the purple. Yeah, we'll use the purple on his antenna. Antennae, since there's more than one. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll color the stems, maybe, of his antenna? I don't know what they're really called. We'll do these in the purple. Like that. Just his forehead is purple for some reason. And then... We'll go back to our go-to, the oranges. Uh, how about, uh, you know what, this is that scarlet from earlier, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll get the scarlet back out, that is his main body color. Oh, yeah. Do his antenna balls, antenna knobs. They're like the jack heads, kinda. I like that, that's awesome. Okay. And then, we have to have orange eyes, because apparently that's what I do. What's the... First one like that too? No, he had green eyes. Okay, cool. No, I don't like that orange. Hang on. Hmm. 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 How about brown eyes? Where'd that brown crayon go that I had earlier? I think it was this one. Yeah, burnt sienna. Okay. He's gonna have not burnt sienna eyes. Let me see. That'd be weird. The rest of his head's gonna be burnt sienna. So he kind of got a, has a stacked effect going on with his his layers. on his eyes. Maybe green? Make him stand out? So we already have purple. We already have red. We already have brown. I don't think orange would fit on this one. So let's go with... I'm trying to figure out which, you know. <laughs> okay, we'll do something different. Well, we're not using that crayon. How about this one? This is... Timber wolf? Okay, sure. You have gray eyes. It's like gingers. They have gray eyes. Whatever crayon that was I dropped, which is another shade of gray. Let's pick it up later. And then for one last final touch, because I think it'll look pretty neat, his pupils will be orange. <laughs> can get it to work. Yeah, cool. Orange pupils. His mouth, I think we're just going to leave is white, because I think it just fits on this one. So there you go. So that's the glow worm type thing. Um, if you liked it, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Because, you know, why not? And until next time, I'm Mike from PumaCloud.com. See ya.